Hey guys, it's Daps here. Welcome to this YouTube channel. I'm super excited to have you join me. In this video, I want to show you exactly how to design custom header footer and maybe custom mega menu using WordPress. Let me talk WordPress and this will be extremely handful for you if you literally want to do this for free. I know we find ourselves in that situation many times where we use the free version of Elementor or whatever plugin you're using and you just want to have custom header footer. But if you're using Elementor, I'll show you an amazing plugin that will help you get that done literally for free. So you can take your footer from that lame, basic, ugly to something more control. Even if you're using the WordPress theme that has control over your head and footer, you can override that with this plugin and it will give you an amazing header. An amazing footer and also if you also want to have a custom mega menu and you can do this with just a few clicks of a button so without wasting so much time let me take you to my screen and let's get started with this tutorial for the purpose of this tutorial i'm going to use this demo website here you can see what the header looks like quite lame basic we just want to change that to something uh Unique, something we can control, something we can have an elemental that we can use to design our head ourselves. That's quite very, very important. And also, if we go down to the footer, let's see what we have. So, this is what we have here super lim and basic. Let's say we want to upgrade this. Uh, so, let's get started. Let's go to the back end of this WordPress website. Let's come back here. Let's just come to our plugins because we're going to be installing a plugin for that. From here, we can add a plugin. So let's it had a plugin, and then we're going to use a plugin called Element Kit. Yeah, Element Kit, and it's the first plugin here Element Kit Elemental Add on and Template. So let's install this plugin. You can see that this plugin has 1 million active installations. That's a fantastic plugin. So now let's activate this plugin. Good, good, good. I immediately we do that now I have an option here for element kit so now we have option here to manage the header and the footer of our wordpress website and i think that's cool uh, before we do that we need to go through an onboarding process so let's even go there let's see if that would work so you'll see it will take you here where you have to go through this uh, uh, basic is fine let's just go down you can see all the options here if you really want to use this plugin it's a freemium plugin it has pro features so you can go through them to see all the pro features there in case you just find the future you have always wanted on your wordpress website maybe you might consider using the pro so now let's scroll back down and uh, let's hit the next button let's just hit the next button we still have recommendation here for form builder woocommerce builder pop-up builder if you want them you can turn them up so you can unlock all and continue or just uh, continue and uh, the next step here is a tutorial for you to learn more you can just go next and the next one here is this surprise you can go element kit pro uh, you can just explore the pro here or just complete your setup uh, for the purpose of this tutorial we're going to keep this the way it is now let's go to our vp dashboard all right so now we are here inside element kit this is where we can control things but basically what we want to spend time doing right now is to come back to our header and footer no template found here is empty because we've not created anything so now let's create something let's come up here to click add new template the first thing is to give it a header we can just call this header right <laughs> something like that something you can easily remember so this would be a custom header right so the type is header so you can switch between header or footer so we're going to come back here to design something else for footer too as well right so now let's do header first and the display condition this would display on the entire website or maybe you want to do single or you want to maybe display this on archive pages alone you have to go pro but now let's just work with the entire website for this example and now we can choose to activate this and then we can save changes all right so you can see this is now active right now so if we go to the front end of this website let's see if we're going to have our header you can see the header there is gone right that's how super simple and easy this is so now let's now create the header that we want to use right so if we come up here we can then come to edit uh, from here we can come back here to edit content and this will launch this Elementor page builder where we can edit this with Elementor. I think this is super cool and awesome, right? So now you can feel free to design whatever it is you want to design now. And the beauty is that you can also work with certain widgets here. So because we installed the Element Kit, we'll see that we have this uh, Element Kit option here. So if we click this, 
this will lose certain template that we can easily use so for this now this is in pages up here you can choose to you can choose to come back to template uh, you will see the full template or you can switch to sections good so you can see we now have sections here so by default here we are beginning to see headers here that we can easily use and if you come here we can filter this down by a lot of things in case you want to create maybe mega menu navigation menu you can see this option here for navigation menu hero section you can see an option here for mega menu maybe we should even check what they have with mega menu so you can see this this is exactly what this mega menu would look like and I think these are beautiful, beautiful uh, stuff here. But again, let's just come back to all. I think we can work with our headers here since we have them here. For the purpose of this tutorial, I will just work with this simple uh, navigation menu here or header here. Whatever it is we want to call it is good. That's it. Just like that, we now have our menu here. So I can get it. Okay, I can bring our structure down here. All right, so for this, this is a navigation menu. So let's open a site structure. We have the first container. This carries this uh, icon list here and then our social icons here. And then the second container here is for the main menu. So here too, we have two containers. The first one is the image. We can choose our icon from here or our logo. Uh, did I just say icon? Icon, logo, whatever it is. Uh, so this is the logo here we might want to use this i think there's another one here okay, this is the logo for footer this is the logo for header so now let's use this uh, we can also then style our logo however we want to so for this we can just come to our size and the width here is 230 we can scale this down uh, to whatever size we're comfortable with i think that's good uh, so the next container should carry the element kit uh, menu oh by default here we have our main menu that we can use so if we select this so you can see where the menu is there and then we have the search future you can see this so for example you may want to start this with your uh, brand colors feel free to do that i don't want to spend time here but the beauty is that you can easily work on template like this you can easily customize them so if you click into this for example let's say you want to change this uh, phone number you can click into this and then you can change the phone number here you feel free to click here to change uh, this icon they have an icon library here if you click this icon library it will take you to the icon library where you can easily just select any other icon that you want uh, we can close this this is the email you can change that here this is super simple and easy if you use elementor you will find this a lot easier uh, so for example let's say you want to change this color so once you click into the container you should be able to come to your style and you can see the color here you can come to your global color and then choose your team color you can see how super simple and easy it is to style that, right? <laughs> so uh, also for our uh, menu as well, we might want to also style this or maybe the background color for this. Uh, we might want to maybe make it transparent. I don't know. Whatever it is that works for you is good. So I might just come here. And this is set to white. I might want to come back here. And then maybe I can use something like this. Or I don't want to use the same color. I can use... Okay, I think these are not the same colors, really. Uh, Uh, those are two different colors there and i think that's good i might just want to leave things the way they are here you get it feel free to customize things however you want to that's literally up to you and once you're done you can just easily come up here and publish this so once we do this let's come back to our website and then let's uh, refresh this and you can see we now have a menu here right now for us. How super cool and awesome this is. <laughs> this is super, super amazing and beautiful. Uh, so now let's do the same thing for our full tattoo as well, right? So if we come down here, we might just want to come back and exit this to WordPress. And then let's come back to Element Kit. Let's come back to Edda Footer. And from here, let's add the new template and this should be for our footer, right? And then let's uh, switch this to footer. The entire website is good. Let's activate this. Let's save changes. So for our footer now, let's edit this with Elementor. So as you right now, we have the creativity to build whatever it is we want to build inside of Elementor. But again, I will just want to go with your template. I will not be customizing anything because I don't want to waste so much time. As usual, we are in the pages. Let's switch this to sections. 
and then I can just uh, choose the first one here. I can just insert this. Voila, that's it. We now have a footer here ready for us to use. So you can customize this, change the logo, change the text, uh, change the icon links, and you can see all of this good, good stuff here. <laughs> also the colors to match your brand color, all this kind of stuff. So let's publish this and let's go check what we have in front end. So if we come back here, we can do a quick refresh and then let's scroll down. Let's see if we have that. You can see that we now have this here but unfortunately this is still showing uh, this is always the case if you are using astra for us to be able to get this uh, footer out let's just come to customize so good if we come to our uh, footer so basically let's just uh remove all the widgets that we have on there and also for our copyright let's take it out so you can see that is gone right now so we can then publish this i used to even think there should be a dedicated button to just delete the header or to just not show it once off i'm not sure what's happening in here uh let's just uh, close our footer and then this is done here so let's close this all right so now let's scroll down and you can see that is gone. We now have a new footer here. And I think that's super, super cool and awesome. So let's say again that we want to have a mega menu on this. Before I end this tutorial, let me show you exactly how to design that. So if we come back here, uh, let's just come, let's exit this. And then let's come to appearance and let's come to our menu. So if we come here, you can see element kit, mega menu. You can see you can enable mega menu for this content. That's the first thing you want to do. You want to enable mega menu here. And once you do that, you can save this. So for example, uh, for these right now, if over on them, you can see that there is now a mega menu here. Let's say we want to make these a mega menu or maybe not the menu, maybe the about page, we want to make it a mega menu. So if we click on this right now, we can then now turn on mega menu and then we can edit mega menu content right uh, so if we click this and the beauty about this is that we can design this using elementor so you can see this uh, right now let's come to element kit uh, i showed you earlier we have sections for mega menu so now we can use the uh, template there so if we come here uh, let's come to mega menu where did i find it earlier uh, okay, this is navigation menu. Let's think somewhere here. Mega menu. So now let's check that. Kindly you know that everything here is not free. For example, if you come down here, this is premium. This is premium. So you want to check the one that you can insert like this, you can use for free. You can see all of these ones here are available for you to use at the free. You can see this one too is free. So let's insert this right now. The beauty about this mega menu here is that you can easily use them. You can customize them to suit whatever it is you want to do. So, for example, you can see this right now. You can begin to link this. Let's say you sell a lot of stuff here. You can click this. So, dining chairs, you can uh, click into this, change the text, and then change the link. Uh, you can see that. So, you can customize this however you want to. You, you can remove certain containers that you don't want you can see all of them here you can see all the structure of the page here right so i don't want to waste time doing that but that's super simple let's say this image here you want to uh, change it you can see the image option here if you click into this this is the image here you can just choose whatever image you want to use you can replace them super cool and awesome now let's publish this good and once we are done with that we can then close this pop-up and you can see this is ready here we can save this and we can close this and altogether let's save our menu and that's it footer menu updated is that footer oh my god i just edited the footer menu and not the main menu oh how super silly this is so if i come here right now if i refresh this page uh, the about us here you can see this is not working but for us to be able to see that this is working i might need to put the footer menu here i don't want to create another one right so let's come back here you can see i did the footer menu but it's not too bad let's change our element kit let's come to header footer uh okay our header here let's edit this with elementor and then let's come to our navigation uh, here let's change this from main menu to footer menu and let's publish this good so now let's come back here let's refresh this page 
All right, so you can see for about us now, we now have a drop down. You can see this. How super cool is this? We might need to play with the adjustment here so that we have all of these things visible here. So you want to play with the size of the container. You want to adjust things here and there for that to suit your screen. So that's exactly how to create custom headers, custom footer, custom mega menu for free using Elementor inside of WordPress. Isn't this amazing? Uh, so go give this plugin a try and let me know your result in the comment section. Let me know if you find this plugin amazing. And if there's any other plugin you have used to uh, have custom headers and footer that is quite fantastic, way more than this, you can let me know in the comment section. I'll be looking out for that recommendation from you. And if you find this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to see more awesome tutorials like this from me on this channel. I will see you in another video. And until then... Take care of yourself.